Okay, so today, um, in 2013, um, Heather Frost. Heather Frost seems to be getting it from all sides. Lucky girl, probably explains why she's got 11 kids, eh? Because every sperm is sacred, every sperm is great. If a sperm is wasted, God gets quite irate. Okay, so Hannah Frost, um, she's kind of been in the newspapers quite a bit. By newspapers, I do of course mean um, the gutter press, really, the desperate press, the, the newspapers that have no news. So, kind of looking at the Daily Mail online, um, which doesn't actually have the word news in the title, though. Oh, bloody hell. So, Heather Frost has been kind of slaughtered recently for having 11 children, um, for having the audacity of being alive, for having the audacity to have had sex at some point in her life. Um, horse? Anyway, so the top five reasons why I think Heather Frost is a-okay and you should be giving her a big thumbs up. Well, nothing else up. Nothing else. Just a thumb. Number one. She's got 11 children, um, which is brilliant. And did you know that the average person during their entire lifetime contributes a net £500,000 um, to the economy? So you could say that the more children Heather has, um, the greater um, the net return will be. I mean, of course, this is an average. So her 11 kids, she's already contributed at the end of this, um, five million five hundred thousand pounds net to the economy over the lifetime of those children. Not bad. Not bad for number one. Uh, number two, Heather has children, so you don't have to. Wow, isn't that exciting? You don't have to be woken up at three o'clock in the morning with some baby that's just shat itself and it absolutely fucking stinks. You don't have to worry about that. You know, if you're a career woman, don't feel guilty about not having children. Fuck it. Heather Frost, she's got 11. She's got more than enough. She's doing it for you. You love your career. You, you like all the shiny, shimmery things you can buy from the, from the shops. Children aren't your best friend. Diamonds are your best friend. And a nice new sports car and a big house on white carpets and white furniture and a fucking pug. That's your best friend. Don't feel guilty. Heather's doing it for you. She's having the children because you're too scared. I don't blame you. Number three, she's actually quite an ins inspirational person in her own right. You know, she's got 11 kids, you're thinking, well, that doesn't take much to do, you know. She obviously puts it about a bit. You know, there you are. What are you, a virgin or something? You know, she's had sex 11 times, maybe. She might just be kind of that fertile that she only has to look at a sperm and it's fucking burrowing its way in there and implanting itself into an, into an egg. She's doing a good job, you know. I mean, the kids that are old enough are going out and working. The kids that are young enough are playing and making noise. That's what kids do. So, thumbs up there. Number three, well done. Fourth point, um, fourth out of five, um, the house, the house issue. How dare she have a house? It's offered me. Yeah. And like everyone said, no one's going to turn it down. But with the hassle I'm getting at the moment, I'm 50-50 if I'm going to take it. Oh. You know, so people are really getting a little bit shitty about the fact that she's finally getting suitable accommodation. Now let's look at the overall scheme of things here. Five million, five hundred thousand pounds is what she's contributed to the economy how much have you contributed you know so that, that's what that's what she's doing there the house that she's getting isn't bought for her it isn't gifted to her she's got to pay rent in the same way that anybody else would have to pay rent on a house and when her children move out she's got to move out as well and it's not a mansion it's it's a normal house anyway so that's number four. She's getting out. She's paying rent for it. Happy days. What, what's the issue? Even her old neighbours. Uh, Who's that shouting? It's a man outside number twenty-four. Try it on the five-inch, Gladys. I can't. I got that fixed on the Baileys at number thirteen. There. <laughs> a new lodger moves in today. 
Anyway, so yeah, the house issue sorted. She, you know, such a non-issue. And uh, number five. Um, oh, she's got hot. Some people have pet dogs. Some people might have a sports car. Some people are addicted to smoking and, and drinking. She's got a horse. What about, we've heard reports today about a horse that you have. Just tell us a bit about the background to that. Well, the horse is mine. I got given it from a friend just living around the corner. And I pay for it. I pay rent. I pay vet bills. I pay food. My mum doesn't help a penny towards it at all. The horse is paid for by one of her daughters who, who works. <laughs> so Heather's done a good job, hasn't she? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, top five things. So the first one is that she's contributing, you know, by having all these children, five and a half million pounds um, to the economy. Uh, she's a good mum. means you don't have to have kids. means you don't have to stretch your woman parts or have surgery to have it whipped out of your gut. Um, she's inspirational. She's, she's worked through having cancer. She's done the best for her kids all the way through. No questions asked. Um, she um, she's getting a house that's finally due to her, that's number four and the horse is paid for by a daughter who works sweet just to tie this one off um, you look at the likes of uh, the royal family you know, not the biggest fan of the royal family but they're here and there's nothing we can really do about it but there's a certain degree of um, hypocrisy when, when we're quite happy to say, oh, well, then the Queen's wearing this new frock and she's got that new hat and, oh, she's having um, this, that, and either. Oh, and um, William and Kate um, are, you know, going to get this new house. Who pays for this? Who pays for this stuff? Who pays for the upkeep of Book Palace? Who pays for all of it? You know, I mean, they've got stacks of land. I, I forget the actual percentage of land that we own, but it's a great deal of the land that we own. It's it's rammed full of bloody wind turbines, and each wind turbine gives them about two thousand pounds a week just for being sat there. So not only are you giving the royal family, you know, money in terms of tax to have this seriously lavish lifestyle, and you don't bat an eyelid over it, but some some of the tax money that you're giving to them, they're investing in land which is ours, but they kind of own, to put wind turbines on there, which increases the amount of your energy bill, and they're also raking additional million from those wind turbines, which are increasing your energy bill, so you're kind of paying how many times and for the royal family to maintain their lifestyle. So, think about that one more than one person who's actually going to be contributing to something. Um, Okay, have a good day. Think on. Um, don't read the day mail online if you want to stay sane. Um, I'm just going to go back there and read again now um, and get something written up for uh, tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.